In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to import the names of your students from Phoenix, from your Phoenix gradebook. I'll also show you how to import scores for your pretest, post-test, and mid-year test from Phoenix, if that's what you'd like to do. So to start, I'd like you to go ahead and open up the sample data file that I've sent out. You'll notice that along the bottom, there's a lot of different sheets for things. Uh, we're going to go to data sheet goal one. This is where you're going to put the names in of your students. So in order to get ready for this, highlight all of the names and scores that you see in this red text here. Right click and press clear contents. This will wipe out everything in those cells without changing the location of anything. Then I want you to go ahead and do the same thing for the blocks. Highlight the block, then press right click and clear contents. Go over to data sheet for goal two along the bottom and do the same thing. Highlight the names and scores. These are junk data names that I just made up for demonstration purposes to show how the file works. Highlight all the junk data, right click, press clear contents, and then repeat for the blocks. Right click, clear contents. Okay, go back to data sheet for goal one. We're gonna start with goal one. Go ahead and open up your internet browser. It does not matter which browser you use. And then I want you to go to Phoenix. Go ahead and log in. Once you've logged into Phoenix, I want you to open up your gradebook by hovering over gradebook and then click on gradebook main. And then open up whichever block you would like to use for your data. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this with my third block class. You can do it with any of the blocks that you're going to use. You'll have to do it with each block that you're going to report data from. So go ahead and open up the right class, click on reports. Hover over where it says detailed progress report, click that, change your selection to print gradebook. Then where it says output report as PDF, click on that, change the output report to XLS Excel spreadsheet. Then go ahead and scroll down and click run report. It will take a few minutes and then a report will pop up down here on the bottom of your screen. If you're using a different browser, it will be in a different place, but it will show up in your downloads. Click on that to open up the spreadsheet that you just downloaded. Go ahead and enable editing up at the top where it says protected view. Now all you have to do to copy and paste the names, start here at the first student's name, highlight all of the names. This may seem blurry, that's because I have blurred these student names to protect their identities, but these are the names, the actual names of the students in my third block class this year. So you're gonna hover over all their names, highlight them, and then copy. So you wanna right click and hit copy. Then switch back to your sample file spreadsheet, the bottom. Click on the first blank line under name, right click in that cell, and then under paste options, there's a lot of different things that you can see here. I want you to just go this one that says one, two, three, that's to paste values with no formatting. Go ahead and click that to paste the names. Now, one last thing before we move on to our next class, you need to make sure you give all these students which block they're in. So go ahead and click in the box for block, type in the relevant number. In this case, these are students in my third block class, so I'm gonna type three. Just type it twice, highlight both of those numbers, and then there's a little box in the corner, you can see this little square. Hover over the little square until your cursor changes to a plus sign. Click down and drag, and it will fill in a three for every single student. So you don't have to type in a bunch of numbers. 
great. Now you have the first block of your students filled in. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that one more time just to help you. Now, if at this point you haven't given the pretest yet, you are finished. All you needed to copy was the names. So you can go ahead and close this report. For now, you can go ahead and close that report. Go back to Phoenix, change which block you want to use. So let's say I also want to use my seventh block class. I'll change to block seven and then do the same thing you just did. Hover over reports, let's click on that. Change it from detailed progress report to print gradebook. Change from output report as PDF to output report as Excel spreadsheet. Scroll down and press run report. Now your report has popped up down here. Click on that to open it. Once again, you're going to want to enable editing. Start with the first student's name. And again, these are blurred to protect the privacy of my students in my class. Highlight all their names. Right click and press copy. Switch on the bottom to your other spreadsheet. Now, this is where we're going to do something a little bit differently. Scroll down a little bit until you get to the first blank row after the bottom of your previous class. Click in that box, right click, and once again, paste values where it says one, two, three for paste. Now the last step, fill in their block. These are my seventh block students, so I'm going to type two sevens in these first two blocks here. Then I'm going to highlight both boxes, both sevens. Hover over the little square until my cursor changes to a plus. Click and drag down to create a selection here until the last student's name and then release the click button and it will fill in a seven for all my students. Now I have finished copying over names. You would repeat this process for every class you would like to gather data for for standard seven. If you have five blocks, just keep doing it until all the blocks are in there. Um, in the next video, I will show you how to copy scores.